Do you ever feel like women play mind games with you? Maybe she starts an argument to see how you'll react. Or she mentions her ex to gauge if you get jealous. Or she pretends to be busy to test if you'll chase harder. If you're like most guys, navigating these relationship tests can be frustrating, confusing, and make you feel powerless. Especially if she eventually dumps you by lumping you in with all other men who failed her tricks. But what if you could spot her quiz questions coming from a mile away? Even better, are you brave enough to call her out for even trying to manipulate you in the first place? Welcome to The Woman Signals, your inside scoop on the female mindset. If you just found this channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos on understanding women and keeping them hooked. In this video, I'll break down the five most common tests women throw at men, how to spot them instantly, and how to ace them in a way that sets you apart from other guys she dated. Once you can recognize her mini mind games, you can flip the script and make her qualify herself to you instead. When she sees you smoothly passing tests most men fail, not only will she work 10x harder to win your approval, but her eyes will open that you're a high-value guy unlike anyone she's met before. So let's dive right into test number one, the jealousy test. This is when she tries making you jealous on purpose to see if you get reactive or insecure. For example, she may casually mention attractive guys who hit on her, ex-boyfriends who still text her, or conversationally ask if you'd be okay with her going clubbing with male friends. Essentially, she's poking for signs you're already getting possessive or anxious about losing her, extremely unattractive traits. Most guys unfortunately take the bait and get territorial or beg her not to talk to other men. Instead, remain utterly relaxed and unfazed whenever she mentions other prospects. Pretend you didn't even hear it. Change topics as though it's irrelevant. The less you react, the quicker she'll realize mind games don't work on you. And that you're already mentally prepared to walk away if she crosses boundaries. Additionally, sprinkle in subtle remarks like, Sure, we're free to each hang with friends, or cheekily ask to see photos of the hot guys pursuing her. This shows supreme confidence she's already locked into you, and that you have zero desire to control her behavior or social life. She'll be stunned at this reaction unlike fragile jealous guys she's conditioned. Now for the second biggest test, starting arguments. Whether over text or in person, she may deliberately try picking fights just to push your buttons. For example, criticizing your appearance, career, emotional availability, forgetfulness, or anything else she knows is important to you. She picks at your sensitive spots attempting to trigger annoyance, hurt, or anger. Thus proving how easily you react when disrespected. Most men again fall right into this trap and immediately get defensive. But smart men identify arguments as merely another manipulation, smile, and outright ignore them. When she tries starting drama over text, either go completely silent mid-conversation or calmly text back 5 to 10 minutes later. Hey sorry, super busy today, we'll chat later, and stop replying instantly. Act as if she didn't just verbally attack you moments earlier. This refusal to be hooked by her drama signals you're emotionally sturdy and unafraid of tensions in relationships. Now if she stirs an argument in person, call it out. You seem to be picking fights with me on purpose lately. If you're trying to trigger me because you need attention or want drama, it's not going to happen. I don't play those types of games and divert to a more positive conversation topic. Straightforwardly exposing her agenda prevents so much future nonsense. Her third favorite test is faking busyness. After an amazing first few dates, she'll randomly go cold and appear more unavailable claiming she's too busy to meet up. This has nothing to do with actually being busy, or else she'd make concrete plans for later. Instead, she's experimenting to check if you'll challenge her behavior or keep pursuing anyway. Essentially testing how interested you are and if she has you wrapped around her finger. Most men panic, flooding her with texts, compliments, gifts trying to re-spark connection after she pulls away. But again this fails miserably, signaling desperation that gives her all the power. 
The instant she claims suddenly being too hectic to hang out, you simply reply, no problem. Let me know when you're free again, and go silent for four to six days mimicking her absence. No matter how many times she texts fishing during this period, sustained discipline reframes you as the challenge and her needing to lock you down. This is catnip to women bored of needy guys with no backbone or abundance mentality. Her fourth test checks your boundaries and willingness to compromise values to keep her happy. For example, she may encourage activities you defined as absolute deal breakers, openly flirt with other guys in front of you seeking attention or trying to make you jealous, withhold physical intimacy and affection as a manipulation tactic to get gifts, favors, or other behavior that crosses lines you were clear about early on. Essentially, she's looking for signs you'll betray what's truly important to you, ignore your own needs, or degrade your worth because she knows you like her so much. And far too many passive, eager to please men unfortunately fail by doing exactly this. When she crosses well-established boundaries you were clear about, it's essential to verbally enforce consequences that shape the relationship in alignment with how you desire things to be. Calmly but decisively tell her, I'm not okay with you encouraging behavior I said was off limits. Let's address this pronto and prevent it from happening again, or I'll need to reevaluate if this works for me long term. Speaking up assertively when she tests your boundaries demonstrates you have too much self-respect to be manipulated or steamrolled. This instantly earns you a measurable devotion and attraction in her eyes. She'll realize you aren't a passive pushover who compromises core values just because you're afraid to lose her. And that commanding respect from you is the key to winning your heart. The last test a woman may throw at you involves varying degrees of dishonesty. Whether it's trickle-truthing important information about herself, actively misleading you or lying about impacts from her past, or outright deceiving you about recent issues hoping she simply won't get caught. Her goal is to verify where your boundaries lie when it comes to integrity, honesty, and authentic transparency as pillars for building intimacy in a relationship. She wants to discover firsthand if you'll tolerate breaches of trust or omitting deal-breaking details or if you'll firmly yet compassionately hold her accountable. If you uncover any major red flags suggesting compromised openness or blatant deception, it's imperative to address them face to face right away. Calmly explain yourself. I understand if you felt awkward fully disclosing everything up front since we all have chapters we regret. But finding out such pivotal information from someone else rather than you directly hurts trust between us in the long run. I need more self-awareness and openness from partners around deal breakers, so can we talk through where exactly we stand? I'm open to reconciling depending on circumstances. Essentially you call out the attempt to hide truth without sounding accusatory. And explain your standards for intimate partners prioritizing honesty, giving her room to apologize and do better. If she doubles down on secrecy instead, you have your answer this dynamic doesn't align for long-term relationship material after all. So, in summary guys, when women you're dating start drama, go hot, cold, boundary push, or outright lie, never get angry or reactive. Stay poised knowing it's often a test. The strongest response is playful understanding but unwillingness to be manipulated. When she sees you smoothly pass tests, most guys fail. Not only will she try 10x harder to win your devotion, but realize she's finally met a man with standards who brings out the best in her. I hope these ideas for handling her games give you confidence. Let me know which tricky test from a woman has tripped you up before and how you'd handle it differently now. Your stories often inspire future video topics. And if you want even more ways to understand the female psychology, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. As always, I appreciate your comments and support helping me spread the word. If you enjoyed this video, show extra love by hitting that like button, sharing it in any group struggling with women's tests, and checking out the super thanks tip jar if you're benefiting a lot and want to buy me a coffee someday. Until next time guys, wishing everyone strong boundaries and compassion out there.